G'day. I hear you are planning on a big Oscar win this year. How exciting. Apparently when you're sort of more private with your friends, you're fairly talkative and stuff like that, but in a big room with lots of people, you um, get very nervous and freeze up and don't like speaking. I'm here to help you with that. As we know, Australians are the best speech therapists going around, and I will help you uh, prepare for this big Oscar speech. Your first Oscar speech will be broadcast to the nations and all over the world. So, very, very important. First, I'll start off with a few tips for you uh, for your big Oscar speech. Firstly, firstly, you're going to have to thank everyone who helped you out with the film. Um, and that's both on set and off set. So you're going to need to thank all the, uh, the director, the writer, all your co-stars, the producers, the film company, all your families, uh, all your friends, um, your manager, your lawyer, your hairdresser, the person who did the costumes on the film, the person who helped uh, walk your dog or look after your kids while the film was being made. You don't want to forget anyone, that's very important. At the same time, you have to keep your speech to 60 to 90 seconds long, no longer. Uh, if it goes any longer, people get bored, you'll get played off. Secondly, very important, keep the speech emotional. Uh, people like to see emotion up on the Oscar stage. Um, however, also very important, don't have it too emotional. No one likes theatrics, no one likes uh, too many tears. Just a little bit, just brush away a tear, that should be fine. Third tip, it's a very grandiose, important occasion. You're going to need to live up to that moment and have a very grandiose, important speech. At the same time, you're going to need to be completely humble and completely gracious in accepting it. Fourth tip, you're going to need to humanize yourself. Um, come up with some little relatable story. If you grew up on a trailer park, that would be ideal because you want to give all the viewers at home this illusion that you're just like one of them, even though, let's be honest, you're not. Fifth, and what I'd say is most important point, is this needs to be meticulously rehearsed. You only get one crack at this and it better be right. That being said, make sure it sounds off the cuff when you're up there. No one likes to think that you knew you were going to win it. Now, there's some tips for your speech, but apparently you've got problems with your public speaking in general. And don't worry, I'm here to help you through that. We're going to run you through a few exercises. First exercise, tell me the earliest memory that you have of uh, having these uh, public speaking problems. Okay, okay, I get it. You weren't, you didn't come here to talk about your personal life. I respect that. We'll move on to the next exercise. Next exercise. Uh, maybe just practice giving your speech now, but um, just block out everyone else that you're, you're imagining will be in the room at the Oscars and just imagine giving the speech to me. Okay, 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 okay. I, I understand. Um, a, a bit uncomfortable. Uh, I'm probably trying to rush you through the process. Let's just take a deep breath. And, uh, okay, I'll just do a very basic warm-up exercise. If you could just go like, just go, come on, come on, just, no, okay, 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 I respect that, I respect that. Okay, an old famous, this is uh, very helpful with your speaking uh, uh, practice, uh, an Oscar favourite. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane, just so. Okay, I'll, I'll say it again. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Okay, okay, I'll give you, give you one more go at it. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. I think you haven't got it. Right, that's it. I completely give up. There is absolutely no helping you if you want to cooperate. Look, I hope this was some help, but yeah, good luck with the Oscars, buddy. <sighs> On a side note, I assume you're uh, campaigning in lead because uh, supporting would just be gross uh, category fraud.